So I'm going to be working using some of our feathered quills that we have. So I'm just going to use two today. I'll leave the prices on. So I'm just working with the black and the white just to pick up on the checkered effect in the crinoline. So we're going to decide which angle you want your headpiece to sit on because this will decide on what angle you want your feathered stems to sit as well, the quills. So I want it to come down over one eye slightly just to give a bit of drama to it and have the opening here. Perhaps if you wanted to have your hair then maybe sitting to the opposite side then you'd create a more balanced look. So I want my quills then to sit at an angle, running symmetry to the piece. If you were to sit the quills running straight forward, you're going to start things will be that slightly get off balance because everything's running this angle. It's better to keep your piece running the angle. So we're going to sit our quills running at the same angle as the way this is sloping over the face. So you could pin and mark these if you wanted to. The best thing to do is if you're doing it your own pieces to do in front of a mirror or put it up against a friend or a family member just to see exactly the angle that you want it to sit. So I want the quills that are coming out in the opening of where the hat is. So that will kind of help me just to get the exact pinpoint of it. So I'll sit the first one in. So you're going to bring your needle and thread up to the centre again. And then you're going to decide the position of where you want your quill to sit. So I want the angle of the stem to come out slightly at the ends. And then from that point, you're just going to make a little hole into your quill right through the centre. Now, it's easier to go through the part that's slightly dented, but that will be the back of your feather. But just make a little hole there first, and then pull your needle back out and bring it in from the other side of where you've punctured through. And then you're just going to bring your needle and thread down. And bring it in and around under your base. Again, if you had the pliers at this point, it would probably help you. And you're going to secure your quill into the angle that you want it to sit. So you can bring your needle and thread up again and you can bring it down and around a few more times. You don't need to go through the centre again. At this stage all you need to do is just keep looping it around the edge. By putting it into the centre you've stopped them from slipping up and down. Sometimes you'll see pieces and they're stitched in and they'll start very high and towards the end of the day they start to slope down. It's because they're not marked into the centre and held. So I'll just show you with that one. I'm going to bring it up again. I'm going to do the same as well with our cream stick. Now with the cream one I want them to overlap so that when the finished piece is done you're going to have your black and your cream at the top and then have it reversed on the base. So we're going to again do the exact same to idea. I'm going to make a little hole, take it back out again, bring it to the side. And this time as we're placing it over we're just going to make sure it crosses over on the piece. Now you still have room to manoeuvre these as well so don't worry if you feel they might be like an inch to the wrong angle that you want them to sit. You can still manipulate them afterwards just to secure them exactly into the position that you want them to be. So once you feel happy with where they're sitting, once you're happy with the angle, you're going to really need to try it up and down a few times and just wrap it around your two clothes. You'll see now your piece is starting to really take shape and it's really growing in size and you can decide then what you want to bring into it next. 